Scribner, we all understand the issues related to the flooding that happened in Skew, and I very much praise the action of the West Government taking to fund some of those residents to ensure that they have some support. But last night on ITV Sharp End, the Minister for Energy, uh, Environment and Rural Affairs seemed to indicate that they were asking the Coal Tips Task Force to now to take a look at the implications of mine workings as well across South Wales and what that means for our communities. So we therefore have a statement from the Minister to indicate as to what exactly that task force will be asked to do, what discussions they're having with the UK government in relation to these workings, and also what discussions they're having with the Coal Authority and the UK government to look at how they are liable for flooding from these workings, because it's claimed that liability of flood water is no one's responsibility. But when it emanates from a man-made structure which someone has responsibility for maintaining, Surely there should be some liability there. We need to pursue that agenda very strongly. Can I also ask for a statement from the Minister on relation to the dog thefts that have been happening lately? We have seen an increasing number of thefts of dogs and puppies across my region and area and particularly across Wales. I very much appreciate the work Peace has done in trying to find those thieves and actually return some of those dogs. But we're now in a situation where people who are walking their dogs on the streets are being attacked the dogs being stolen whilst they're undertaking that walk. It's clear we need to have a statement as to what action the government is taking with the relevant authorities, with the police and the UK government, and how we can perhaps adapt Lucy's law when it comes in to ensure that people selling these puppies illegally are going to be heavily penalised as a consequence of the actions they're taking. And a final request, the Minister for the Economy... No, 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 I'm uh, sorry. Uh, You've gone time, well please. over. Yeah, you, you have to try again next week. Trevnith. Uh, thank you. Uh, yeah, the first issue which was raised by uh, David Rees was the uh, Coal Tips Task Force and the extension of that work now into mine works. Um, and that's following the uh, the recent flooding incidents. Uh, Welsh Government is really keen to see a joint programme of work between the uh, Welsh Government and the UK Government uh, on this, recognising that Wales does have 40% of the coal tips of the whole of the United Kingdom. And clearly the uh, mine works issues will affect Wales also disproportionately so it's important that we do have the correct support to address that. I'll um, seek to uh, provide David Rees with a full update in terms of the discussions which are uh, going on in that regard and also with regard to the um, the coal authority in particular and then the second issue was the important one of dog thefts which is becoming uh, increasingly concerning to us uh, uh, ac across all of our communities I think. Uh, the theft of a pet is a criminal offence under the non-devolved theft act and the maximum penalty of course is seven years imprisonment uh, i know that jane Hutt meets regularly with the police and that she'll be keen to raise uh, this issue with them um, on behalf of uh, david reese and all of us who have concerns about this uh, particularly concerning area thank you very much trevniv item four on the agenda is 